we're looking at the eye. And the first thing we're going to do with this model is figure out if it's a left or a right eye. We're going to do that by putting it into anatomical position and looking for the landmarks. This bone on the side is our nose, and the gland over here on the side is our lacrimal gland, which is on the lateral side, and the nose, of course, is medial. That means this is going to be our left eye. The lacrimal gland is what produces tears. The tears are going to run superior lateral to inferior medial, be collected by the nasolacrimal um, into the nasolacrimal duct here, this tube. So the muscle we have on top here raises our eyelid, that is levator palpebrae superioris. The muscle we have coming around, you remember this from another video, I'm sure, this is our orbicularis oris. Uh, uh, excuse me, orbicularis oculi. Next thing we're going to do is look at the, in, um, the muscles of the eye. We have six muscles that move the eye. We have four rectus muscles and two oblique muscles. We have on top superior rectus. We said this was a medial side because this is our nose, so this would be our medial rectus, the one on the lateral side lateral rectus, and then if we turn this around, we can probably see this from the back better. The one on the bottom is our, super, is our inferior rectus. The rectus muscles do pretty much what you think they should do. So superior rectus will elevate the eye, inferior rectus will depress the eye, medial rectus will pull the eye medially, and lateral rectus will pull the eye laterally. We have two muscles which are oblique. We're gonna take a look at those from the back side. We can see just the tendon of superior oblique here, and we can see a little bit of inferior oblique on the bottom. Superior oblique does the opposite of what you think it should. Superior oblique is going to depress and medially rotate the eye, whereas inferior oblique is going to elevate and laterally rotate the eye. We're going to go back around to the front and look at the different layers of the eye. This outer layer is an extension of the dura mater. If it's white, it's called sclera, and if it's clear, it's called cornea. This model looks like he may be getting a little bit of a cataract. It's getting a little bit cloudy here. We're gonna open this up and look at the second layer. This second layer is the choroid layer. That's a vascular layer or the blood layer. We have the colored portion of the eye here. This is the iris. We have a hole. Here, that is the pupil. I'm going to open this up on the inside and look at the inner layer. This is the inner neural layer. This is actually an extension of your brain, the neural layer. How cool is that? So coming into this, we have our optic nerve, and within the optic nerve, we have the central artery and central vein. Where the optic nerve comes into your eye, this region, the optic disc, that is your blind spot. You do have a blind spot in your eye. Where the light focuses when it comes in is on this little tiny dot here. It's a tiny pink spot. I don't know, can you see that? That is the fovea centralis, Latin for central focus. The fovea centralis is in a small region called the macula lutea. The macula lutea is the area that has the highest concentration of rods and cones, and that's in the layer of the retina, the retina being the neural layer. So think of it as the the city of Mac of Fovea Centralis in the county of Macula Lutea in the state of retina. See, those are nested terms. If we turn this around, we see this muscle here. This is a ciliary body and these white lines are the suspensory ligaments. What they suspend is the lens. So this is the lens of the eye. So try not to mix up the lens with the cornea. So again, inner layer, retina, vascular layer, choroid, outer layer, sclera, which is continuous with the cornea. Eye. 